Hey guys, Dave from Dads Are Funny coming to you from the, whoa, set of Madma Season 12, Batch 2, which is Episodes 4 through 7, as we prepare to film Batch 3, which will be Episodes uh, 8, 9, and 10, possibly 11, uh, upcoming. We are providing this kind of Madma homework session. Now, this is going to do a couple of things. We're going to talk about some ideas for you to comment on uh, regarding what's going to be upcoming in the next next batch of Episodes. But also, uh, let's talk a little bit about... Now, normally these... Let's start first. Oh, look, there's our old buddy Osnog. Uh, let's talk first about Twitch. As you guys know, there's been some shenanigans going on at Twitch, probably having to reset your password. So for this homework session, we're actually not doing it on Twitch. We're doing it just on YouTube, which means there's no live interaction. But I wanted to say that we have about, I think, 400 followers now on uh, Twitch, uh, which is awesome. And so... For the next homework session, you're going to want to be hooked up to Twitch, either with a new account or, I guess, uh, your old account with a new password. And um, I won't go into all that, but apparently, uh, I guess they had a data breach of some sort. Uh, but they're still up at this point. So uh, the idea is that the homework sessions uh, can be done as we proceed through each batch of Madma Season 12. It's something we decided to do with Season 12, just to give you guys a few opportunities to actually comment on things that you wanted to see or uh, changes that you wanted to like plot changes or plot suggestions or different things like that and then that way you could do it actually before we film so that's kind of nice now we're filming the third batch of madma season 12 next week and so we wanted to get this uh, homework session out and like I said it just happened to coincide within about 24 hours of this whole twitch fiasco so we're actually skipping twitch this time now uh, one thing I want to mention real quick is that if you look these these walls other than my little creeper explosion over here they actually turned out pretty good for uh, you know considering we had no master plan I thought I thought this turned out nicely so uh, we we um, uh, I can tell you some things for batch three, and I'm going to suggest a few little kernels for you to think about and perhaps suggest ideas for. But one of the things we're going to do, and we've done this before, is um, uh, I think one thing we learned early on is not to do really complex builds that take like, you know, two hours uh, live in a whole series of episodes because it kind of consumes the episodes so, for example, uh, when we did the boat, we did it with uh, high speed. It was about a 90-minute build, and we did it uh, in just you know a fraction of an episode. Um, I mean, we did part of it live, but then we sped up the rest. Um, for these walls, we actually did them live because I, I knew between the creepers and the baby zombies there'd be some fun stuff that would happen. But I also uh, wanted to emphasize the fact that we're protecting the villagers because, as you remember, uh, Osnog... Uh, the I guess Osnog Prime, if you will, this guy right here told us that his you know his friend uh, had been turned into a zombie, of course who's now been now been restored, and uh, so we wanted to have some urgency. As Mary pointed out, you know, well hey, if we cure this guy, if we don't we don't build walls, it's just going to happen again. So we wanted to add that and put that in. Um, but what we're going to do off camera, I think, is in batch three, we're going to have like a. Uh, title card at the beginning about time passing so we've been at the village for maybe three or four more days it's going to be like day 72 when batch three starts and we're going to actually upgrade the walls off camera so that we don't have to go through the painstaking process of just replacing some materials and upgrading the maybe upgrading the walls a little bit like with a parapet or something so uh, we're going to do that off camera and the other thing that we're going to do off camera, which works in nicely, is a, a couple of really smart viewers pointed out in batch two that we, uh, that Mary, I should say, left her uh, armpit back at the boat when she off offloaded her uh, inventory in the last, uh, probably episode seven. And so uh, she's going to go back and get that uh, silly armpit thing. And we don't want to do that on camera either. Because the idea, if you'll remember from episode 7 of season 12, is that Sasquatch at the very end is learning about some very important uh, things that have happened to her family. She's learned a little bit more. There's the pincha, the pincha. Sorry. Um, uh, let's see. According to Sasquatch, if you go through, let's see, through the pincher this way, right? We should see the claw. And uh, so... Uh, Mary is going to go back and get the the armpit and come back. 
And uh, as I said, uh, Sasquatch has learned at the very end of the episode about some stuff that uh, there's the claw that affects uh, the next sort of plot arc. Now, now she knows her family recovered uh, uh, from the plane uh, helicopter crash, and the uh, essentially the the plot now is going to be to find out what happened to her family. I think that's pretty obvious. I'm trying to decide what to give away and not give away, but that's not very much to give away. And actually, here's the site of the crash. Uh, and depending on whether we actually we visit here before we head to Sasquatch Village, uh, we actually will um, need to... What's interesting is it looks like... Uh, oh, wow. This so, so when we made the mistake of going the wrong direction, we built this bridge here, and it was actually over to the... Well, we didn't quite make it that far, but this is the sacred place. Uh, we didn't get this far into it, but this would be right about where the the helicopter crash occurred right right in this area so we might want to have some not smoking debris or anything but maybe some sort of uh, little divot in the ground um, but uh, okay so uh, again Mary's gonna you know have some like four days elapse we have Mary go get her armpit she comes back we've upgraded the walls a bit and now we flash back to the second half of that conversation we had in the basement with our newly restored uh, Osnog friend, where he talks about more things relating to Sasquatch, her, uh, her, I should say, her family, the village, and the fate of the Lax Jerk outfit, uh, company, team, whatever you want to call it, that flies around in helicopters and abuses all the poor Sasquatches by uh, kidnapping them and making them work in their Lax Jerk uh, pork commercials. So we're going to learn about that. And then we're going to travel to, yes, you guessed it, Sasquatch Village. And that's going to be something that is is going to be, I think, fun to see. As you know, Team Anchua built, uh, built that for us. And so uh, we've been wanting to get that back in the... Uh, get that back in along with some of the other things you've seen, like the Splices Lab and some of the other builds. We've alluded to Sasquatch Village, but you haven't actually seen it like in its full glory up close, except in that little preview video that we had. And I'm, I don't want to give a lot away, but we're just going to kind of head in the direction. If you'll remember, Sass talked about it being to the north uh, from from the Claw. And at this point, we're just going to follow follow the river and see if we can get a glimpse of it before this video ends. And... The other thing that you don't know yet, because this is part of the conversation we have with the villager that we cured, it'll happen in the actual episode, uh, episode number eight, probably, is we learn uh, not only what happened to Sasquatch's family, but also just the village in general. And this is going to affect what we find here uh, as we move toward uh, the village itself. And as you all know from previous episodes, the village is in this direction. And so it's going to take us a little while to find it. Now, clearly, we we don't know where it is. Sasquatch has a, whoa, has a relative idea of where it is. And there it is in the distance. Uh, and so that's where we're headed. Basically north, um, you know, in terms of uh, our relative position here at the village. So we're going to say sayonara to our friends uh, at the village. We're going to pack up, uh, having helped, you know, buttress the walls there, make them a little bit better, do that off camera, and then travel uh, to the village and then find, well, I guess you'll have to find out later when you watch what we find, and we're going to progress again to, you know, another three or so episodes to this plot arc, and then we're going to find out really what happens to Sasquatch and what happens to her family and how that's all going to get resolved, and so all these little nuggets of uh, all these little nuggets of information are things that you can think about in terms of any ideas that you have or things you'd like to see or tweaks or changes to the plot that we can accommodate within the, you know, the frame, the arc that we're trying to cover. And uh, as you can see, it's not that far. I'd say it's about 500 blocks. Uh, and uh, it won't take us long to get there. So uh, I think what we may do is visit the claw first. For I should say not the claw, but the uh, sacred place, which is just right over here, 
uh, to learn more about that helicopter crash. So, so that's something actually I would love to have input on because we've had several discussions internally about how that might go down and it's going to affect some pretty important things. Um, and so any little nuggets that you guys have about your feelings on on uh, what that plane crash, uh, or should, should say helicopter crash, site, if there's any information there, any uh, pieces of, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say remnants. I mean, it could be recollections, memories, physical things that we find there. You know, that could be a revelation that helps shape the plot as we move forward. All right. Um, I guess in final comments, uh, in the final comments section, I would say uh, from a dads or funny perspective, you know, Ben has obviously joined the Air Force. He's doing great. Uh, uh, Missy Fenstrider, Camber, a.k.a. Lil Sass, is going to college and it's not that far off. So that's one reason why we've been, whoa, look at that. We've been um, uh, getting her character prepared to sort of segue and transition to going back to her family. Uh, we'd like to see... Uh, possibly Ben, but certainly uh, uh, Little Sass uh, come back. Whoa, look at that. To the uh, show in terms of cameo appearances. And I have an idea in particular for Sass uh, and, well, actually another one for Ben as well. Uh, and so we want to... Oh, look at the horses. They seem like they're having fun. Uh, we want to have... Uh, we want to have those opportunities, but clearly we've got to make allowances for the fact that they are not able to be with us in terms of filming on a regular basis. And that, of course, brings us to the whole notion of season 12. My feeling is that season 12, we've had 10 regular seasons. We've had two optional seasons, 11 and 12, which really just fill in the details as Bernard describes them in episode 13 of season 10, uh, which is sort of the last regular episode. He talks about what happens in the future, and these two seasons really are are that future. Uh, and so, if we do a season thirteen, it might actually just be Mary and myself for the most part, and actually either returning to Mad Myland or going back to the real world or something a little more weird and complicated. And I kind of like that idea. I also like the idea, and I'm just going to throw a few weird things out. I've actually thought about having. Maybe even a different game that's not even Minecraft, but if we can find one that's that's as good as this in terms of building a artificial universe, but having like descendants of Mary and Dad, uh, who are father and daughter, uh, finding out about the past of the characters of of Mary and Dad, and actually exploring that because of some you know strange hidden secret or whatever relating to the the lab. Uh, that could be a, an interesting side plot that would be different yet part of the same universe. So that's kind of fun. Um, and also the other final thing I want to say is that, you know, the evil guy died in season... Well, I don't want to spoil a bunch of stuff, but I guess most of you watching this would know that in season 10. But are we sure that he died? So I'm just going to leave it at that. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, we will see you when season 12 resumes please comment here and one comment i don't want to see is when's the next episode because all you got to do is go to dadsforfunny.com look through the episode guide all the dates of every episode we've ever produced are on that website so you could scroll down to season 12 and see the dates for season uh, 12 episode 8 9 and 10 11 12 and 13 all right that's it guys thanks dave from dads are funny here coming to you live from i don't know Madma Central and and season 12. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.